Hi guys, today I'm gonna do a uh, conclusion on Battlefield 3 uh, Venus Unleashed, the mod that came out. That's not what I'm playing right now because I just wanna play like a short uh, server, short server with not a lot of tickets and uh, that's chill TDM just so I can talk. And um, I just wanna mention a couple things. Um, like I got a membership going on where you can like uh, pay per month and get like uh, perks. If you're interested, I can click on the join button below. Uh, it's always there for you to check it out. And if not, uh, it's all totally fine. Everything's free in a way. It's YouTube. Uh, first thing I want to mention is the game modes. Uh, they introduced like a couple of game modes, like Ice Snipe, uh, Prop Hunt, uh, Infection. That I didn't try, actually. I didn't try Infection, but I'm guessing it's pretty decent. All the game modes I've tried are... Like, what they are what they are. They don't you know, create anything new, but... It's still a lot of fun to see, and uh, they work well. The menus are well made. If you want to, like, use the menu to, like, s check something and... Uh, vote and uh, other stuff like that. It's also well implemented, I think. They did a, a really good job, I think. Um, that's bringing me to another point. Not a major point for me. Um, is the the cheating that could possibly be uh, really annoying. Because I don't know much about the subject, but what I think is that people can just people who've been banned on the uh, Pong Buster can just come back and play Battlefield 3 right now using VU, which can be an issue. You know, like the people that were banned for like maybe years or or so are just able to like come back and play the game and probably cheat again. I'm guessing the way to cheat is really similar. Uh, maybe uh, maybe it all changed. I don't know, I don't, but I don't think so because gaming itself, the the coding, uh, I'm guessing is basically the same. It's not really changed. Um, I just so I just so like they they do like some kind of like. They're not not much they can do actually, but like it's just the way it is with mods. These guys will move. And also uh, the um, it's it's like that because it's not like in partnership with EA and Dice, so it basically means you're you're left alone. Uh, progression so everything's already unlocked so that that's a good thing but you, you there's no unlocking of anything or like so no ranks no level up or anything like that which for me is fine I just want to play the game and enjoy it uh, we're in 2020 where people mostly want unlocks for pretty much every game possible. Uh, which is not the case with this game, but... Like, who knows, like, they could... Okay. This guy's just there and no one kills him. What the fuck? Uh, also, a good thing I really like about the, the, the Battlefield 3 release on leash is that... Without allows for a lot of variety with, with game modes and maps. Uh, I've seen like a lot of different maps being played and that's really a refreshing thing, you know. Finally be able to like play different maps and and game modes we didn't see much in the past years. Uh, these guys are like all blocked.
This mod is really good. I'm really satisfied. It runs really well. Also, like the menus are well made. Sometimes they bug, but it's not really major. Um, the servers are running well. I just have issues with the um, uh, what's it called um, the um, the server tick rate. Uh, if you have like 50 or 40 ping and you play with that server tick rate, it's amazing. It just feels amazing. Uh, but if you're playing at 120 or 110 ping, which is the case for a lot of people, I think, uh, it becomes really laggy and not so much laggy, I mean, but it becomes inconsistent, you know? That's really like um, something that can throw me off, you know, because it's inconsistent, so sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It's kind of vague for me. Uh, I don't really like that part of it. Uh, if I were to like sum it up in a couple words, I would say uh, VU is a great thing to play sometimes, but not full time. So that basically means that personally, I won't play VU uh, for all my videos. You know, uh, I'm gonna still continue playing uh, the regular battlefield. And uh, these guys are camping the fuck out of it, and that's so annoying. He might revive. This guy's reviving sometimes. I've seen him a couple of times. So never mind. I guess he's busy killing people. But yeah, I'm really concerned with cheaters. It's and it's also harder to see who's cheating and who's not cheating because there's no battle log, so that basically means um, you cannot see the stats after the game. And sometimes that was the thing that was telling me if someone was cheating or not. So, like I could look at the battle report and see that the guy had like uh, 50 uh, shots out of uh, 20, uh, uh, 50 kills I mean. Then it's an easy way to like know if someone's cheating. Yeah, it does. There's other people. Ah! Oh, I got him also. Nice. <laughs> but yeah, there's like... Um, oh yeah, another thing uh, I forgot to mention. It's not really popular. I thought it would have been like more populated, populated than this at first, so I was kind of disappointed because from what I saw there was a lot of hype for this. So I guess a lot of people are maybe thrown off by the fact that you're uh, like not using um, EA services. And also there's another, from what I've seen, there's another mod coming out, uh, reality mod. That's another thing I'm not really sure if it's gonna be popular also. Like. Oh, fuck. Okay. A lot of revives, that's a rare thing. A lot, I say a lot, but not really much. It's just compared to what we normally see. <laughs> yeah, so far I've been enjoying it a lot. This, uh, oh wow. Okay, came out of nowhere. Uh, I tried Ice Snipe also, the game mode where you, uh, you snipe only, basically. 
like the menus are nice. They they done a, a great job like of integrating everything in into the game. So uh, that's a great thing. It's probably one of the, the best thing, best things that, and also the colors. Another like big point I forgot to mention, but uh, the colors were looks way more accurate and looks like proper. The the game looks like it's supposed to be uh, looking as you've seen as you've seen in the, the videos I posted lately. Um, it did a great job with that. Um, was already something that was existing before because before we had the. Uh, reshade the thing like the the shader pack we could install before um, but EA kind of like decided it wasn't really uh, to their standards so they just they just banned it I think This works well. I uh, was really impressed by by it and not being laggy. There's also this, the suppression got removed, the uh, blue tint, like a ton of great things like that. It was a bit. I just think it was a bit too late. If it had came out like two or three years ago, it would have been so popular. I think. Now the game's already like nine years old. I think yeah, nine years old. So it's a bit it's a bit too late for it, but I just hope over time it's gonna get more and more popular and people are gonna play uh Venice Unleash. It just gonna depend on the the new battlefield that's gonna come out. If people people like the new battlefield, they're gonna stick to the new one. If they don't like it, they're not gonna com come back to uh, to Battlefield 3, you know. It's just the way it is. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, thank you for watching. And uh, that was pretty much my conclusion. Basically, have them both the vanilla version and the view version. So you can just l log on the view sometimes and see uh, what servers are there. and. Um, there's something interesting to you then you can just play that and really enjoy have a great experience and then when you want to go back you can just go back and play the regular game which is which is fine I've been playing for nine years and making videos so uh, it's not really that bad you know it just needs some fixes uh, that view gave basically uh, there's also more people playing Battlefield 3 the vanilla, vanilla version. There's also that fact. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it and thank you for watching. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And see you on the next one.